Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 3.11, problem solving, add and subtract money. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to solve problems by making a table. Please pause and write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, at the end of May, Miss Freeman had an account balance of $442.37. That means that's how much money she had in her bank. Since then, she has written a check for $63.92. When we write a check, that means that money is going out. She spent that money, so we need to subtract. She also made a deposit for the $350. A deposit means I put money in. That is a positive I'm going to add. Ms. Freeman says she has $729.45 in her account. Our job is to make a table to decide if Ms. Freeman is correct. So let's go ahead and fill in our problem solving steps so that we can solve the problem. First off, it says, what do we need to find? Well, we need to find if Free Miss Freeman is correct. Okay, what information do we need to use? We need to know that her account balance, so she started. We also know that she spent a check, so she spent $63.92. And I don't have room in my box, so I'm gonna write next to it, but you should still have room. We know that she had a deposit, so she added three hundred and fifty dollars even and we know that it says we are going to make a table and a table is just an organization like you see on the right of adding and subtracting to make sure that we are right so if we look here we have the balance four hundred and forty two and then we subtracted the check, 63.92, and then we added $350. So let's go ahead and line all those numbers up and do the work. All right, so first off we have 400, $442 and 37 cents and we're going to subtract sixty three dollars and ninety two cents so seven minus two is five three minus nine I can't do so I have to borrow thirteen minus nine is four one minus three I can't do so I have to borrow again So that becomes a three. And that means that this is an 11. 11 minus three is eight. Three minus six we can't do, so we have to borrow again. So that's a three, and now we have 13 minus six is seven, and then bring down the three. So we have $378.43. And 
Now we need to add in her deposit of $350 even. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 5 is 12. So 2 carry the 1. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And we're going to add our decimal. So we get the number 728.4. Five. So her current balance is 728.45. Now we need to decide if this answer is reasonable or not. So if we look at her number, she says she is 729.45. Is her answer reasonable? Is her answer correct? No, she is off by one number. Her real number should be 728, not 729. All right, fifth graders, time for the lesson activity. It says, Jordan buys a notebook for himself and four friends. Each notebook costs $1.85. Make a table to find the cost of the five notebooks. So if each notebook is $1.85, you'll need to take the line before it and add $1.85. So I'll help you with number two. Let's line them up. $1.85 plus $1.85. $1 five plus five is 10, carry the one. Eight plus eight is 16, plus one is 17, carry the one. And one plus one plus one is Three. So the next line should be $3.70. Continue adding each time $1.85 until you figure out how much five notebooks will cost. Great job so far, fifth graders. Remember that this work needs to be shown in your math notebook. Oh, goodness, I moved my numbers. In your math notebook. See you tomorrow.